Hello guys, it's Rackman. man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about LASK, L-A-S-K versus uh, Club Rogue. Um, so a team from Austria versus a team from Austria, ver team from Austria versus a team from uh, Belgium, man. So this game ended in a 1-0 win, man. Thanks to our hands. Uh, Van Aken goal in the 10 minute, bro. He scored a penalty in the 10 minute. Um, I believe, what's his name, bro? I forgot his name, bro. Um, uh... Opina, I believe his name is Opina, man. Number 40 for them. He went down inside the box, man. I think it was an easy foul, bro. Pretty much, he was so fast, man. The player didn't even notice he was there, man. Pre player pretty much tried to clear the ball and hit him instead. I think it was an easy penalty. The referee pointed to the penalty spot, man. Awarded penalty. And Hans Van Aken, man, stepped out to the penalty. Uh, drilled it to the bottom left of the goal, of the goal man. And, uh, and scored the opening goal. And Club broke, bro, their defense, man. And the goalkeeper, Mignolet, bro. I forgot this time, Mignolet, man. I was like, oh, what is, what was that, bro? It looked familiar. I'm like, oh, snap, it's Mignolet, man. So Mignolet was in goal for uh, Club Rogue, man. I think he did a fantastic job. The whole back four did a fantastic job for Club Roy. Um, Their uh, right, their their left midfielder, which is um, Hans Van Aken, man, did a fantastic job. Um, The front four, the front three for um, Club Rogue, I think they did very well, man. Some good counter-attacking football, some good breakaway passes. Going forward, there was a problem, man. It was so fast and athletic, man. And um, I'm not sure, man. If it wasn't for uh, Schlager or Schlatt, Schla yeah, Schlager, that's, I believe, the name of the goalkeeper for um, Lask, uh, LASK, man. Th this game would have been a high-scoring game, man. He came out with multiple save, bro. Multiple save, man. So the goalkeeper for them was fantastic. Their center back and their they went with like a back three. So the center back and the guy on the left side was fantastic. And who else was fantastic for them? Their midfielder Peter McCorley, McCorhor, I believe that's his name. He was fantastic, man. But their front three, their front three wasn't as fantastic, man. They didn't really create too many chances. Uh, they were shooting a lot though. They were shooting a lot, but and they put a lot of shot on target, man. But the back four was pretty much cutting them off, um, blocking the shots, breaking out the passes. The back four for um, Club Road, man, it was very solid, man, very organized, uh, and uh, never really made any defensive mistake, man, and that's why this guy, Mignolet, looks so good, man, because um, the, the problem with Mignolet, bro, when it was at Liverpool, um, the, the back four at Liverpool wasn't as good as how they are right now. Right now, they better be better, plus they got like, uh, um, that's why it makes uh, this guy look so good, man. What's his name? Um, damn, I forgot his name. Um, Alison Becker, bro. That's why Alison Becker... Looks so good as a goalkeeper, man. Cause he has a solid back four that will protect him. Mignolet never had that at Liverpool, man. But in this game, he had a solid back four, and he were able to come up with some multiple statements. So, um, good game overall, man. Uh, last man, they played very well, man. I, in my opinion, I think they play. There was a better team overall. Um, they going forward a lot, man. Creating chances, creating opportunity. They had more possession. They had more shots. They had more shots on target. So. Overall, man, stat-wise, they were a better team overall, man. But they, they, they just didn't have any luck on this side, man. Uh, the front three for um, club for club work, man, it was solid as a rock, man. Um, the midfield was very um, poor overall. Same with uh, club road midfield too, man. It was very poor overall. So no team really dominated the midfield, man. And and I think if one of these teams would have dominated midfield, that would have given a more edge to one of these teams winning the game by a bigger margin, man. But Club Roy were able to win on the road. I think that's a very good win for them in, in Austria. And going to go back home and pretty much do, do the job at home, man. But it's not over yet, man. 1-0 win is not really a bad deal, man. But Hans Van Aken, man, man after match, man, he was superb today overall, man. Creating chances, passes, um creating those spaces man um getting to the right position helping out defensively man and uh helping out the fullback on the left side he was fantastic overall man so uh good game by club bro bro looking forward to see what they do in the next round uh stat wise man as i said man um lask last was the better team overall with stat wise man 56 percent ball possession not too high over club bro who had 44 percent ball possession shots in total um it's pretty much almost equal man with uh uh lysk lysk have um 15 percent and uh club Roig at uh 12 uh 12 uh 12 shots man and uh yeah um shots in total man um lask had um 10 shots in total while club Roig only had five shots um on target man and uh yeah um lask um 
very unlucky too, man. One of their players hit the post too, man. So they was very unlucky, man. Things was just not going their way, man. They was at home and they had the worst lot, man. But uh, shout out to both teams. Let me know what team to support, man. Um, Lysk, L-A-S-K, or Club Roig. And like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let me know what you think about the game in the comment section. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.